Before my body was a temple, it was a back alley street, no. More of a basement game for playboys in transition. Mm. Quietly becoming the men who broke them every time they touched me, kissed me, no permission, no. I didn't stop them, but I didn't know, shh. Mm. I never told. Mm. Wasn't old enough to tie my own shoe, but I knew how to keep a secret, mm. but still have so many. Mm. Anyway, my five-year-old body bowed down into a bridge, crossing them from innocence to loss. And when they got off, I got up. I was eight years old. And dad, I want to talk about sex. Like, like, when can I have it? Well, son, have you had sex? No. Shh. The secret is who I really am. It's the way I've been since then. Those boys was men corrupt catapulting my body into a world that moved faster than my mind. Time told me I wasn't the only one. This kind of abuse had climbed up my family tree before I was a seed thought, and I thought it was just me. Me and my cousins are reenacting episodes of our molestation through a game of house. The thin line between generational curse and family tradition is smudged as we use our bodies as testimonies, and can somebody tell me if my homo sex is the origin of me or the sum of my sex miseducation because I can't help but to notice the behavior of my body, the way I give it and to whom it's like I confuse my self-worth with the way my body makes your body feel and I really like it wrong. I have a strong weakness for a second nature. My body, the synonym for infidel, down low, and male prostitution and if the price is right, hell. It don't even gotta be. Throw me your bottom dollar and I'll wreck your home just to remember where I'm from again. Who else has a body like mine? Fights their mind out the gutter. Shudders when love in the ways that deserves. Programmed to earn it through acts of service. My body has always been a temple. Hidden beneath these back alley streets, these basements, and these bridges. And it never crossed my mind that my body was lied to every time they laid on me. Ooh. I have a strong belief that my freedom is somewhere holding hands with my ability to forgive. I really want to live, want to love. I've been learning to heal myself with every stare I give to the mirror. Sometimes I see the broken boy I was. In other moments, I see fragments of a better man I could be. But I'm not the only face I see here. My body of work, my blood, and my story was never written for me. See? I knew I wasn't the only one. Mm.